Hey YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, your guide in DIY multimedia production. Today I'm here with another Q Tractor tutorial, and what I wanted to talk about today were Q Tractor's editing tools, which are pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit limited as far as some things go, but it has certain tools that allow you to do things that uh, you basically have to do, or you would do in other ways. For example, there's no edit groups in Q Tractor, as far as I know, there may be, and if there are, and if somebody knows about that, uh, please let me know. I know you can group files over here in the uh, the files section, but I don't really see any real purpose to that. I can't tell if they actually. Uh, you don't seem to be able to edit things that way. Like for example, you can't highlight more than one, and then when you drag this over, it just does the one. It doesn't. It doesn't do both. So that's what I'm trying to say. However. That doesn't really uh, make things impossible in QTractor as far as editing. Uh, what you can do here is if you notice up here what I just clicked on, these are your edit tools. And the first one that it goes to by default is just clip. And all that is is when you click any one of these clips in the uh, timeline, you get a – or it highlights the, the whole clip rather. And I'm not sure what this uh, – why that line shows up there on a track for me all the time. I'm not sure about that either. And if somebody knows the answer to that, please let me know. Uh, yeah, some things I still don't quite understand with QTractor, but I'm showing you what I do know, and hopefully that does help you. So let's get started here. Let's go ahead. What I have here are just some drum tracks that I recorded, and they're just basic, you know, four channel. There's just kick, snare, overhead, and overhead. So let's play back a little bit of these. Okay, so say we wanted to take that first section and turn that into a loop. So first off, let's hear what that would actually sound like. So one of the things we should talk about here on this uh, little drop-down menu where it says beat or none or beat two, beat three, those are your snap two uh, functions. And what I mean by that is when you grab an edge and you see how it snaps to the next beat marker, on the timeline, that's what that means. And if we set this to two, it's gonna do that by half the amount. And three by a third, and four by a fourth, and so on and so forth. But for this uh, measure, or for this exercise, I'm gonna keep it on just a whole beat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the timeline and drag to the end of uh, the seventh uh, measure, and then I'm going to loop that so we can hear what it sounds like by clicking this little loop icon right here. Let's, so let's go ahead and play that back. Okay, so pretty much on time. My playing wasn't so great when I recorded that, but good enough for this lesson. So what we can do, oh, and uh, what we need to do here, it already selected all four uh, clips, as you notice when you click and drag the timeline. But say if you want to do that without doing the loop measure and you just want to select uh, you know, all of these tracks for editing. So what you could do then is select, go to your clip selection here and then select uh, range and then whatever you click and drag will automatically select every single track that is down below that. So then say we wanted to cut those two uh, first uh, measures out and turn those into you know, their own clip, what we could do, or not their own clip, but just separate them from the rest. What we could do then is just go to edit and then split, or you can push control Y on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now, so now we have all of these clips separated from the second set of clips over here. Let's do audio. I don't have an insert key on my keyboard, so I have to do this the slow way. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so say we wanted to move these four clips down to these four tracks uh, down below. Uh, one severely annoying thing about Q-Tractor is you can't just click, you can't highlight all four of these clips and drag them down there. It won't let you do that for some reason. So what you need to do is actually click on one and drag it down and click on the other and drag it down and so forth. And, you know, this is the kind of thing where Q-Tractor really starts to fall short compared to other DAWs. Um, the editing, it works. You know, you can do things, but it's not easy because you're really limited to just these four, or sorry, these three tools, and you don't have any way to group clips uh, into edit groups, and you can't, Hi when you highlight multiple clips, it doesn't seem to uh, like affect the editing on the multiple clips, which is also a severe problem. Um, you know, that's if you're doing like really detailed editing in Qtractor, that starts to get really old really quickly. And I'm not sure, you know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe there is a way to do it that I just don't know, but. I spent a few hours uh, messing around with it, and I really can't find a way to kind of group edit things other than using the range or rectangle. And I should talk about the rectangle tool. And basically what that is, it's the same as the range tool, except you can you don't have to do it on all the tracks, or all the clips, rather. You Whatever clip or track that you ho hover the mouse over, it will select all of those equally. So you can you know, control Y and cut that out of there. Control, or sorry, cut, copy, paste, that all works on groups of clips. But everything else, like, uh, well, you can drag. You can drag, you know, say, uh, those four clips that I just selected there, you can drag those over uh, ver or horizontally, but you can't vertically. So, yeah, that's it's weird. But um, <laughs> that's just how it is, you know. Hopefully that'll improve in the future. Uh, but, you know, it still is pretty cool. Um, I still really like the GUI uh, design much better than our door. Like, I it, I feel like it's easier to understand and just more pleasing to look at than our door. But I do think that our door has far better features as far as editing audio uh, than Q-Tractor does. Um, it has group editing. You know, you can do the buses work pretty much flawlessly. Uh there's a time or the the click track you can change tempo uh which i think you can do in q tractor too uh i might be wrong about that actually i don't know if you can but um anyway for editing groups of clips it can be done but it's just a little bit limited uh but the way to do it is with these three tools so you have clip which selects one let me unhighlight it clip selects one range selects a full range of tracks that are all vertically aligned and if you just click and drag that it will automatically cut that out of there and same goes with rectangle rectangle uh, selects groups of clips but only where you drag the mouse over and then you can click and drag those as well so this probably sounds pretty funny right now because I just kind of randomly cut and pasted things all over the place, but let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm not really sure. One of the things I'm still confused about is I seem to end up with kind of a ghost track on here. A lot of times uh, there's this track, you'll see it here, that just has nothing on it. And I don't know where that came from. I didn't record that. Um, it just seems to be there. I'm not sure. And that seems to happen to me a lot. And maybe that's just something in this version, which is 0 0.8.4. Um, I have a slightly older version on my other laptop, and I'm not sure if I've noticed that on there. It may be just on this one. Um, but anyway, hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful. And... Uh, you're able to get some editing done. Oh, another thing I should talk about, actually, that I wanted to mention, that is a pretty damn cool feature, and uh, it's not all bad that I, I'm saying this time, so I just wanted to mention that what you can do here, let's get rid of these first. Um, there is a really good time-stretching tool that 
all you need to do is highlight the track or the sorry the clip that you want to time stretch and then you hold down the shift key and then click and drag and that will automatically time stretch that uh, to the next uh, whatever you have highlighted as your snap to or if you don't have snap to enabled it'll just wherever you let go of the mouse however another big problem with this is it won't let you do this with a group of clips which kind of renders that useless if you're editing drums so um you know a couple of things could really use some improvement but it is still pretty cool um but it's not probably not going to be uh taking over as my main DAW anytime soon unless some of these things get fixed so anyway hopefully you found this uh educational and uh entertaining and if you did feel free to click like and subscribe and thanks for watching have a have a great day everybody Music.